Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make eggplant curry. Now, I've got my oven preheating up to 400 degrees, and we're going to roast some eggplant off. So, this is about three eggplants, about two to three pounds of eggplant cubed. You can leave the skin on like I do or take it off. It's up to you and it's your preference. We're going to pour over about two tablespoons of some melted coconut oil, salt and pepper to taste. I had to spread it out on two cookie sheets. Now we're just going to toss this and we're going to stick it in the oven. Remember at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to, as they roast, flip them halfway through the cooking process. Alright, in this big skillet, I've got two tablespoons of coconut oil, or you can use olive oil. I've got a chopped onion in here, and we're going to come with our spices now. This has lots of spices. To the onions, we're going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of you Greek. You could do the seeds, but I had it ground. Half a teaspoon of sesame seeds, half a teaspoon of some chili powder. I'm going to stir this a little bit. We've still got more spices to put in. Half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Half a teaspoon of ground cardamom powder. Give it a little bit more stir in. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you want it milder, put just a pinch. If you want it extra spicy, put a little bit more. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of ground mustard. Two tablespoons of cement garlic. Two to three tablespoons of minced ginger. I'm using my ginger paste. Then we're going to put our roasted eggplant in. Now you don't have to roast your eggplant. You can just cube it up and stir it in. The roasting brings a little bit more flavor out and stuff, I think. It's totally your preference. And then we're going to put some salt and black pepper to taste. I think it got a little spicy in there. Now. now we're going to come with 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm using the one with no salt in it. I'm going to give that a stir. Then we're going to come with a can of coconut milk. It's a 3.5 fluid ounce can. Make sure you shake it before you open your can. And we're just going to bring this up to heat it and just let it simmer for a while. All the sauce and spices will blend together. You're going to need about one chopped tomato. I'm going to let this sauce simmer and it's going to reduce a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to let this simmer on a medium for about 30 minutes. Here's our eggplant curry. Reduce down to thick it's a little bit. But if it's not thickened enough for you, you can do a cornstarch slurry or I use a little bit of thick it up. I get asked all the time about this product. I get it online. This bag lasts me about six months. You got to estimate how much liquid's in your pan. For every cup of liquid, you only need a half a teaspoon of thick it up. And you just dump it in. Uh, you don't have to mix it with water or anything. You mix it up and it don't clump or anything. It thickens up so smoothly. Here is the ingredients. I get asked all the time about the ingredients in it. And I get this online. I think you can get it at some of the health food stores. But I can't find none in my area, so I get it online. Here is our eggplant curry plated up. I got it over some basmati rice that I've just cooked like the back of the package said. You can use white rice, jasmine rice, brown rice, whatever rice preference you like. We're going to dollop it with a dollop of plain Greek yogurt. Then we're going to sprinkle over some chopped cilantro, a little bit of chopped mint. That's totally optional. If you don't like cilantro and mint, leave it out. But there you have it. My eggplant curry. Now you can do this dish with anything. You don't have to buy eggplants. You could do chicken. You could do chickpeas and mushrooms and other veggies. Whatever you want. I'm going to serve it with some non bread. I just got it at Walmart and I follow back of the directions to heat it up. 